What advice would you give to new girls coming into the industry? What's oh, like man. the one thing you wish you had done? You know, honestly, I wish I had taken a business class. I think everything that like I would give advice about two girls falls under everything that I would have learned taking a business class. Mm. But then also, please just learn how to take care of yourself. Learn how, you know, hygiene is so important in this industry. Not even just like your mouth, just what you eat, Mm -hmm. the water that you're drinking. Just really look into things. You know, you're having sex with so many other people, so many different people. You know, they have different pHs, different lifestyles, you know. That's going to change you as a human being. So it's just like really learn to take care of yourself. What do you do to take care of yourself? A lot. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, like I, I have like anything that like goes wrong. I'm like, oh, I, I, I know something for that. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? But I think the most important things are I drink a lot of water and try very hard to eat healthy, especially when I'm on set. Mm. Like it I it sucks because there's like days where I go to set and I'm like, oh, they're getting pizza. Oh, that sounds so good. Mm-hmm. But if I eat pizza, I'm going to get tired. Yeah. I, I don't know. And like, you know, things just, it it shows, you know, yeah. on, on, on us. So, you know, I try to eat well, especially when I'm on set, working out. Yoga is so good, not only for your body because being flexible in the industry is very important mm-hmm. as I'm learning. But also for your mind, yoga helps so much. You know, just to calm you, just Mm -hmm. to like feel your body and like, okay, your hands, your arms, my legs, you know, everything, you feel it. So I think yoga is very important to just like center yourself. Yeah, it's a good um, kind of like forced pause and yes. um, controlled breathing. Mm-hmm. And I definitely feel different in the morning if I take a yoga class. Yeah. Like it sets my brain on a different level for the rest of the day, yeah. for sure. That last position, Shavasana, anytime oh, they take, Shavasana. it's so funny because it's such a simple position. You do it every day when yeah. you go to bed, you just lay down, yeah. but you're not mindful of it then. No. You know what I mean? So it's, and you also just pushed, like, you also just did like an hour of yes. this certain kind of breathing mm-hmm. and you did these positions and you kind of tired yourself out. Mm-hmm. And so, yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. Um, so what do you do about, um, like, hygiene? Like, what do you do specifically? Because I know different girls have different methods. Um, for me, I love Hibiclens. It's just like an antibacterial soap that they use in hospitals. Um, but then there's also a soap, like an antifungal soap that just has like tea tree, eucalyptus. There's wipes called defense wipes. Mm-hmm. They use it a lot um, for like jocks and like people who do wrestling, football, things like that. To help like prevent like staff ringworm, or ringworm. staff. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. And unfortunately, that is something we have to worry about in this yeah. set, in this, in this industry. People do a lot of stuff outside of work. There are yeah. wrestlers, uh, ta- taekwondo fighters, you know what I mean? So it's like, yeah. that's where a lot of the time they pick things like that up, you know, and then they bring it to set. So HippoCleanse is like a, it's like a body wash, right? Mm-hmm, Which mm-hmm. is really great, um, especially when you're rubbing your body up against another person's yeah. sweaty body. Yeah. And I know girls get a lot of like body breakouts. So Especially much. on your butt. On the butt. That's on a the big chest problem. a lot mm-hmm. of times because men love to kiss there, rub yeah. up against everything. Um, but then there's also just like, you know, your, your kitty you have to yeah. take care of. And yeah. there's a lot of stuff that you can do for that. Um, and I try to like talk to girls about that a lot because mm-hmm. there are things that go in this industry that girls just don't even know that they have, mm-hmm. you know? So it's like, it, you know, just a simple conversation with these girls and yeah. 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 So do you, um, do you douche before every scene? Okay. So we can talk. I don't know how. Oh um, yeah. Okay. Okay. Girl, we can so I, I do douche before scenes, but with just water. I prefer it being like a bottled water, but Mm -hmm. if it's just sink water, I don't mind. Um, but then afterwards I do boric acid suppositories and I make them myself. It's just 100% pure boric acid in a gel capsule. And that's a suppository. And then if I'm ever feeling like sore, like if I had done like a really rough Wait, do you do do that right before you do sex? No, I do it right after. Oh, okay. Or like if I'm not having sex, I'll just do it like once a week right before bed because Mm -hmm. it does, you know, come out. So you have to like wear a panty liner and stuff. Right. But, um, and then if I'm sore, I'll put like a vitamin E, just like the vitamins, the gel capsule vitamins Okay, that you take orally? Mm -hmm. Oh, interesting. Yeah. And I'm telling you, it's like you 
didn't have sex. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss a single episode and go check out all the other videos. I film every single one of my podcasts. And if you want to listen to the audio version, I'm on iTunes and all the other podcast platforms. Visit hollyrandallunfiltered.com to find out more.